All right, so for this version, all you will need is your pattern piece printed out. And since I do have some people tell me that they have issues with the printing not being accurate, this size 3T should be nine and a half inches wide like this. So if you want to double check, nine and a half inches for size 3T. And then all you need is the little um, straps here, the length of the straps. So I already have everything cut out. We just need two of this front and back, same thing. And here are my pieces. One and the super cute bubbles. If you want to learn how to make a panel, I do have a video as well. So I'll try to link it somewhere up here. Normally it's like in this, where's my finger? <laughs> In this corner around here there's like a little eye you can click on it and it'll take you to the video in question but then here are my straps some people might think they're a little short but I really care about children's safety and we don't want anything too long around the neck for kids anyway so I just made them long enough to function so there we go and all we're going to do is put our pattern pieces right sides together like this and we are going to sew down the side seams so i'm just going to go ahead and serge this pattern calls for a 1 4 inch seam allowance so that is our first step and i'm going to go ahead and prep my straps as well so for the straps same thing i just want to have them folded right sides together and let me see what that is okay so for these straps you are going to sew the length the whole length so all along one side and then just choose either side the top or bottom doesn't really matter and i'm going to uh, also sew the top and then we are going to turn these right side out all right so here's what that looks like and here are what my straps look like and i'm going to be using this little tool i know there's a proper name for it but i found this at the dollar store actually and i was like that's perfect for turning tubes so all i'm going to do is take the side that i sewed and just push it on through and get it started and there we go and then I just go like this oops go like this take the end and turn it just like that there we have it and I'm going to do the same with the other side. But I'm going to, I forgot that I'm supposed to use this side. That's why I pushed all the way through because this side's a little, a little sharper. All right, so there are my two straps. And next you're going to decide if you want to do bands on the top like my last video. I do have a tube top playlist. You can see it there. But today I'm going to, to just hem it with my cover stitch for both sides. And then as we're hemming, we are going to attach our straps. And believe it or not, we will be done. All right, so I'm going to show you, wait, something's off. Oh yeah, my ring light. Let me use my magic powers. Lumos. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. We've been watching Harry Potter, so I feel like I'm a wizard. But anyways, I'm going to show you how I mark the center. All we need to do is mark the center front. So I just line up my seams here and then find the center. And I'm going to put my pin like pretty down low just like that because when I go over to fold this I want to know where it is still and it not be in my way so I'm just going to put my pin right there and that is the center all right so hopefully you can see I know my hand sometimes get in the way but uh let's keep going so I'm going to start somewhere in the back just because I don't know that's that's how I start my hems and we're going to do a half inch hem today so that's why I have this little tape. If you have not seen my cover stitch video, I go through like the basics and how to do a hem. But sorry, my chair is squeaky. What the heck? I swear it's the chair, it's not me. <laughs> well, what would that even be? Like I'm, I don't have a squeaky woman hole. But anyways, so I'm just going to go ahead and hem. And then once we get close to this pin, I'll show you what I do. All I do is take the ends of my straps and I'm going to overlap them like this 
and you, you can decide actually what you want to do if you want your straps to be a little more spaced you can put them like this and then they would be right on the edge of the hem and you know the center of the pin will be the center of your straps or you can overlap them but either way i like to make sure that the seam edges are on the seam edges are on the outside so here's one left one right i mean or you can put them on the inside let's just switch it up and put them on the inside today whatever you want to do so again you can choose but i'm just going to try to center these with my little pin there and I'm going to make the hem first, so I'm folding my fabric, making the hem, and then lining this up again with my sticker, putting it over like this, continuing the hem, and I'm just going to go for it now. You're going to have to kind of guide the strap so that they're not shifting. They did shift a little bit, but that's okay. And then I just keep going, and you can pull the straps through so they're not in your way. But that's why I like to use the pin, because it just stays in there, and it's not that, that big of a deal. So now I'm going to go all the way around. So before I go over my starting position, I like to clip these threads. Just with my little snipping tool. Okay, I'm going to go over it just a tad. And if you need help guiding, there's like these two little dots on the brother cover stitch, and that's where I try to aim. Okay, and now we're going to release our threads. Let me back up a little bit so y'all can see what that looks like. In the olden days when I didn't have a tripod, this was hard to showcase, but now I do. So all I do is hold these two tension release buttons, pull the threads forward and then I fish them out once I lift my presser foot I fish them out from under here like that I snip them right in the middle and then I jerk my fabric to kind of release it like this and then just pull it out and then I like to snip it right where the threads end Oops, right where the thread's end, right there. You didn't see that, sorry. <laughs> I was so focused on making sure that my threads were as short as possible that I forgot. But anyways, now make sure to remove your pin. You don't want to miss that. And I'm going to show you what this looks like. Here it is. Again, there was a little gap, but at least they're center. They're nice. It's a-okay. This is gonna be so cute anyway now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the bottom but of course there's no straps there so it isn't the exact same thing but I'm going to hem it and then we'll be done oh and just in case anyone wants to see the inside this is what the inside looks like I think I'm going to snip some of these little threads here that are from the straps don't go snipping too much but just like that so it looks a little little cleaner but it looks pretty dang good all right, so here is the finished top with the straps. It looks so cute. I'm actually going to make all three of the girls for my girl. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is it for the super quick tutorial. I did forget to mention, if you're making the bands, you would just attach them right when you were going to attach the top band uh, for the straps. You would just serge them on a lane down with the bands so hopefully y'all can figure that out if anyone needs a video of that let me know but that is it for this video and i'll see you all in the next one